Sup guys, this is JSC. Welcome to another Strider playthrough. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Alright, you can actually get hit by the train here. It's kind of crazy. Alright. I can climb down here. Which brings me straight to the subway. I'm not sure if that place above me leads to somewhere. It might. Although now I'm not even sure if I can get back. <laughs> Probably should have checked first. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I'm supposed to go down this way anyway, so it's fine. Well, if I really want to, I can just go back. So let's head back and see if there's any reason to go back. The cool thing about this game is as long as you can access an area, you can probably check it out if you want to. Alright. There's nothing here except, obviously, the trains, so bunch of health packs, that's about it. I'm mainly doing this to see if there's any upgrades, any artwork, any anything I can use, basically. If not, then oh well. Ah, oh, there we go, nice. Got enemy intel, that's cool. Once I get all my abilities, I'll be able to come back here and get all the upgrades I want, but for now, let's just... An efficient citizen makes an efficient oh, get the wall. Interesting, I can't climb it? Okay, there we go, I was about to say. <laughs> Climb up the wall. Yeah, and once this is in the way, until you get something like double jump, there's no way to access it. It's, it's done for a reason, so it's fine. Alright, let's just head back underground and continue our... I nearly got hit by that train! <laughs> let's continue our mission. And the enemies have respawned. Charming. And they're doing as much damage as humanly possible again. Amazing. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, dude. Alright, cool. Just checking. Nah, you don't. Nah, you don't. It's a shotgun. Never mind. Yeah, the shotgun goes right through your slide, so you can't slide it. It's a spread shot. Which is fair enough. Alright, duck. I'm trying to see if I can... Can I get them through here? Got him. Are they brave enough to walk forward? Probably not. Yeah, I didn't think so. I took a ton of damage from that, actually. Luckily, it's a health pack up here, so we're fine. I mean, at first, on easy, I was wondering, what's the point of all these health packs? You get health packs so quickly, but trust me, you learn to appreciate it. You learn to appreciate it when you're playing, like, harder, harder modes. Oh god. Yeah, now that I know I don't get hurt from, like, jumping over his head, it makes this much easier, actually. The only thing that hurts me is his actual, like, stomp moves. So, with that in mind, we can do way more damage to him, in general. Oh dear, no, I didn't think he's actually gonna do it. Alright, ugh. Done. It always feels like mini-bosses die quicker once you know how to beat them. That might be true either because mini-bosses, once they become regular enemies, are easier, or it might be true because the enemies themselves have less health. I died a horrible death. I do not know what happened there. They just The spray of bullets obliterated me. That's a shame. Alright, I'll have to go all the way back. Man, that went... Immeasurably wrong. Let's try that again. Which means I have to go get that artwork again. Oh well. I know what to do now though. So it's fine. The climbing up walls is pretty cool. I do like this little pickaxe thing that can attach to anything. Any surface. Oh wait, no, I still have the artwork. Interesting. It stays consistent. That's cool. Ouch. <laughs> the train. Well, it didn't kill me, it, like, reset me. That's fine. Interesting. I think what it did was it saved my progress. Or some, something like that. I don't know. Oh, no, I know. It's because I touched the checkpoint. That's probably why. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. Keep moving. Spreadshot guy got me again. 
Sometimes it's best to just do that. To just wait, hit the enemy with your strongest move, and just keep moving. Oh boy. Alright. I'm definitely have to, having to change up how I play this game now that I'm playing on hard. It's just zero reason to play Reckless. I have to be careful of that when he when he goes for that instead of the other thing. Because if I'm not careful, then yeah, I'll just get hit by him. So I think the best thing to do is, even though I can't touch him, it's just smart not to yeah mess with him. Just jump over him, avoid him completely, avoid disappointment. Done, easy. All right, took care of him. All right, let's not bo get bodied this time. Hopefully. Alright, get down. Oof, this guy. Now this enemy is a problem. This enemy is a problem. Oh dear. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? If I just run into the bullets, I'm gonna get obliterated, so. Done. Oh, I did so much. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It wasn't worth it! <laughs> it wasn't worth it! Oh my god, alright. It was just some bloody artwork. Man, it would, that was not worth it. Alright, I think, now that I know that, I can just avoid him completely, because it's just artwork. It's, does, it's not like an upgrade or anything. So yeah, with that in mind, let's avoid it. Which explains why they made it so hard to get, considering there's so many enemies there. I did find it a bit strange that they'd put an enemy, like, concentration like that in a corner. I think that's the problem with the way this difficulty is. There's no... It's so unforgiving in the sense that you're never given warning for stuff. And you just soak up so much damage. But repetition is the father of learning, so we make our mistakes and then we, we move on, we learn from them. It's very possible to, if you continually hit these enemies, when you see that little gauge of his, you fill that up and he goes into like this like crazy rage slash mode where he just slashes them like nuts. But it's hard to get when you're trying to dodge for your life. Yeah, that was unnecessary and completely dangerous and I don't know why I did it. It says I'm supposed to go down here, so let's just follow the road since we don't need to get that little upgrade thing. The little power-up. Took so much from that. Alright. Bit of platforming to get to the next segment. It's not too bad. Once I clear the room of enemies, then I'll be fine. But yeah, so that, that little dark corner over there, once I get max health and all my upgrades and stuff like that. I, I think once I get bullet reflect, that's when you can pretty much deal with tons of enemies like that. Because at the moment, I will just get bodied free if I just run in there like a headless chicken. So instead of doing that, let's just take it slow and easy. Let's just get where we're going. There's something up here. Some challenges, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if the challenges I unlocked from my previous playthroughs actually carry over. If not, then whatever. I suppose, in a way... That's what makes the design of this game so cool. If you can't do something on a harder difficulty, say normal or easy, then it's something that's just meant to be done once you have better abilities. The game's open-ended like that, which I appreciate. So there's never a situation where you feel like, oh, this is impossible, how do I do this? Alright. If I recall... Alright, so I have to jump onto this one, then go underneath, and then climb to the other side, and then jump off. Easy. Okie doke. Oh, hello. Hello. Shotgun. Gotcha. Alright, let's try not to get bodied by trains. Oh god, speaking of which... Yeah, best... I'm just gonna avoid these things. There's zero reason to try attacking them. They will just hurt me. I'm, I'm slowly learning that lesson in hard mode. If it, if it looks like it can't be done, it can't be done. Do not be a hero. 
so many times I've just ran in there thinking, I'm Strider, I'm the best. I can slash him up and I get messed up. So. I have taken way too much damage from this. I should not have done that. I should not have done that at all. Let's see if there's anything down there. I think there's a health pack down there, so... It's telling me to go down, so that's certainly I'm supposed to go. Let's check to the left first. If it's telling me to go down, then the best thing to do is check to the left. Alright, let's see now. It looks like an upgrade over there. Alright, cool. Yes! Health increase again, thank god for that. You know what's funny, like, when I first played this game, I would played this more like Mega Man Zero than Metroid, which meant that I would just run to all the story missions, I would avoid all the exploration, and I didn't get any of the health upgrades. So when I fought the first boss, I was fighting the first boss practically with, like, default health, I was getting destroyed. But now that I know that this is a game that is meant to be played more patiently, and you're meant to explore more, it's certainly more beneficial that way. Right. Oh, I think this is where the first boss is. I'm, yeah, I believe this is where the first boss is. I think I just can spark also. Alright, there's no save point for ages. The, the first save point is all the way up there, which means if I die, I'm gonna have to do all this again. How unforgiving. Well, be that as it may, let's see if I can pull this off. If not, we die. Oh dear. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Alright, let's play this carefully. Let's hit and run. Take all the enemies out one by one. Do not let them bunch up on you. And just like that. We've taken care of the majority of them, but unfortunately I took, I've taken way too much damage now. I am hard-pressed to take on this boss legitimately. Let's go get that health. Hopefully it'll mitigate part of the problem. It's funny, when I was playing this on normal I never had to worry about how far the save points were. Now it's a problem. Alright, cool. Taking care of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no save point in, like, any of this area. There's a darkened area over there. Let's see if I can get up there. Maybe there might be some health. Maybe not. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. I am tempted to go all the way back to the checkpoint, but it's pretty far. So I don't think I'll be able to get there. I mean, I can. It's just a long, a long time, really. Cool. There we go. Just trying to see what's over here. I can't jump on it. How annoying. Let's see, because if I can... If there's something over there, probably not... Um, I'm not looking for a checkpoint over there. I'm looking for, like, health. Just anything, really. Strange. Why can't I... Hmm. How curious. Ah, oh, nice. Health. Perfect. No, it's not much, but it's better than what I had a second ago. Okie dokie. Let's go face our fate. If we die, then episode's over. If not, then hey. Oh jeez. And then you drop enemies right in front of me. So nice of you. There's definitely a bigger emphasis on manu like maneuverability and movement. On the harder difficulties, like I, I do, I don't feel like I had to jump this much when I was playing normal. But the movement is certainly useful here. Yeah, the boss is down there. It says recover option C. That's where the boss is. Oh no, it's not a boss. It's too many bosses. All right, it's fine. We'll take him one at a time. So it's no biggie. Okay, I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> I'd be better off. Oh, nice, he moved himself to the center. Thank goodness. Ow.
Okay, done. That's one. That's one. Wait a minute. Alright, that's the first little lever thing to deal with the train. And here's the second dude. I was wondering how big that hitbox was. I'm like, is that gonna hit me? <laughs> Yeah, this is tough. Until he moves, I've got a problem. Ow. Alright. It's fine. That didn't do anywhere near as much damage as it, as it might have. Alright. I might have to play this a little bit differently. I mean, that's fine. Just bait him out, let him throw it where he doesn't want to. Done. Okay, cool. We open the next door. And then we reveal the boss. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Wait, is this a boss? I can't remember. Look at, I mean, look at all the health it's giving me. This is definitely a boss. This is definitely a boss. One of the first sisters, the sister with the guns. She's not impossible, but she is kind of hard. Oh god, it's the fire on the walls that does so much damage. And it knocks you down, too. Oh man. Best thing to do is just... charge shot. Just no reason to make this any harder than it needs to be. Whoa, that is so much! Okay, cool. Man, this is annoying. Oh, man! So much. So much damage. So much damage. Man, that's annoying. To a greater or lesser extent, I can avoid the majority of this. I think I got her, I just need to be careful of her, like, little move thing here. Oops! <laughs> I got overzealous. And ate the damage for free. Alright, cool. Alright, she just sealed her fate with that. Okay, don't get too cocky! She should be done with the next charge strike. Done! First sister out of the way. The health upgrade certainly helped. Alright, option C, we got our first animal. The robot eagle. Fans of Marvel should know about this one, except now he's all laserified, which is cool. If I recall correctly, this should take us back to the checkpoint, so we can end the episode there. Well, it took us to an entirely new area altogether. It took us above the area. So that's cool. So now we've got here, which means we can head back there and grab all the upgrades that we missed. But for now, let us end the episode. Right here, uh, another power-up, which I don't have. But anyway, done. Alright, that's the checkpoint. That's the game. That's the episode.